Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Christine. My pronouns are she and her. And today's chair yoga practice will be one that is accessible for everybody. So please find yourself a sturdy chair, one preferably without wheels so that it doesn't roll away from you. And we'll get started. And when I say that this yoga practice is going to be accessible for everyone, what I mean is all you need to bring is your breath. So if you're sitting up nice and tall in a sturdy chair, or you want to be lying down with your hands resting on your belly and just get comfortable and breathe intentionally, that is practicing yoga. If I guide you in any postures that don't feel comfortable to you, you might just explore the edge of that discomfort, but don't do anything that causes you any pain. So please listen to yourself, take care of yourself, and join me if you like in a sturdy chair, or just listen to the sound of my voice and put your hands on your belly and breathe deeply. In fact, let's all put one hand on the belly and one hand over the heart. And just begin to breathe. Notice your breath. You probably breathe all day long and never give it a second thought. So one way we can bring ourselves into the present moment and get out of the thoughts in our heads is to invite ourselves in with the breath. Maybe close your eyes if you feel comfortable to do that. And just notice how your belly pushes out into your lower hand as you inhale. And then up gently into the upper hand. And as you exhale, notice the reverse. First the, chelly, uh, first the chest drops down a little bit. And then the belly. Like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> Hopefully my editor will cut that out. But let's just breathe together. Let your shoulders be soft. Soften your brow. Relax your jaw. Kind of hug your elbows in gently as if you're giving yourself a little hug. And just bring your attention to the expansion of the belly and the rise and fall of the chest. You might even begin to invite the breath lower into the pelvis and the hips. Noticing that that maybe takes you a little longer to inhale and you inhale a little more deeply. And as you exhale, you might really invite yourself to squeeze all of that air out. Let's find three more big breaths together like that. Inhaling to expand fully. Exhale to release fully and completely. We'll do that two more times. just softly release your hands. Let's just begin to wake up the body a little bit. Maybe tap out your feet. You could windshield wiper your knees a little bit from side to side. You could roll the shoulders up and back and down. I kind of like doing the up and back and down more than the up and forward uh, because this is kind of that hunching forward that we all do, or lots of us do at our desks all day. So let's roll those shoulders open. Could really exaggerate the arm motions here, almost as if you're doing the backstroke. And then you might begin to lift your head up towards the sky as you lift your arms. And notice
notice how you can open across the throat, the collarbones, the heart, the upper ribs, the belly. And we'll do that three more times. Inhaling as you open up. This time, let's just come to a nice tall seat. Let's take the hands to the knees or the thighs here. Inhale, just a gentle back bend, drawing your heart forward and up, looking up towards the sky. This time, let's go ahead and intentionally round back, drawing the belly button to the spine and reaching the fingertips forward. Inhale, lifting heart, lifting gaze. Exhale, reach those fingertips forward and draw that chin down towards your chest. Let's do that three more times, getting some really lovely spinal movement, moving that synovial fluid, waking up the whole back body. And the next time you inhale into that gentle back bend, Exhale to find your tall seat once again. And let's scoot forward to the front of the chair. Take a hold of the chair arms, or maybe you might put your hands on your hips or the edges of the chair, whatever feels good to you. We'll take a nice full breath here. And then inhale, lifting up that right knee and taking it out into a circle and back to center. And just get a little bit of hip movement here. Your leg doesn't need to come up very far or you can draw it up farther than I am, whatever feels good in your hip. And then we'll come the other direction, taking the knee out and up and then in. Just kind of balancing things out, remembering to continue to breathe those nice deep belly breaths. And then we'll release the right foot down and do the same thing in the left side. First coming from the center up, out to the left and back to center. Sitting up nice and tall, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your jaw. And then we'll reverse those circles. And release the left foot down. Let's get a little motion in the spine from side to side. So go ahead and find that full breath, find that long, tall spine. You can have your eyes open or closed, whatever feels nice to you. Let's inhale the right fingertips up. Exhale any amount over towards the left. And we're not going forward, we're just going over to the side. Staying up nice and tall, keeping your chin tucked to keep your neck protected. You could look over towards the right here. Or it might feel nice to look to the left. Or you could keep your gaze centered. If you want to go deeper, you can side bend a little farther over to the left. But just breathe into this whole right side of the body, keeping that right sit bone anchored down and then we'll inhale back to the top exhale to release inhale left fingertips up exhale gentle side bend to the right keep your left sit bone anchored continue to breathe your deep belly breath go deeper if that feels good to you And then we'll inhale back to center, exhale, release. And then let's just go side to side a little bit. Inhale your right arm up, exhale, release it down. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, release it down. Two more times on each side. You can get a little deeper every time if you like. You can stay up nice and tall if you like. Only you know what feels good in your body, so give yourself permission to choose that. And then we'll come back to center. 
and then we'll get a little twisting in and I want to make sure you don't over twist because it's really really easy to cause injury to the ribs get a little too excited and make those big twists that feel so good until later so just take it easy brush against your edge here let's inhale and raise those arms up to the sky as you exhale, let those fingertips come down and take a gentle twist to your right. Inhale those hands back up. Exhale, gentle twist left. Inhale back to center. Exhale right. Inhale center. Exhale left. Inhale, center. This time as we exhale right, we're going to stay here. Find that nice tall spine as you inhale. Soften into your twist or maybe deepen a little bit as you exhale. Take one more full breath here. And then we'll inhale those arms back to center. Exhale, twist left. The hands can rest wherever it's comfortable for you. You can twist any amount deeper that feels good to you. But like I said, don't overdo it. A little bit goes a long way in the twisting department. One more full breath. Getting length in the spine as you inhale. Softening as you exhale. And then we'll inhale back to center. Exhale, release those fingers down and we'll roll the shoulders up and back and down. And let's get a, just a little bit of movement here in the neck. So let's inhale right here at center and then as you exhale, just look out over your right shoulder. Inhale back to center and then exhale to look over the left shoulder. Inhale, back to center, exhale, right. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Let's inhale, center, exhale, right ear towards the right shoulder. Inhale, center, exhale, left ear towards left shoulder. Inhale, center, right shoulder. Coming back to center and over the left shoulder. This time, let's inhale, center, exhale, bring your right ear towards the right shoulder. Let's just hang out for a little bit here. Just find a little bit of space in the left side of the neck. Let the shoulder be soft, let the elbows be heavy. You could stay here in stillness, breathing your deep belly breath, or you might begin to take your gaze down towards the earth or up towards the sky. You could go back and forth and just explore any areas of tightness or tension. And when you've had enough, take one more inhale, exhale chin to chest, and inhale head back to center. And then we'll exhale left ear over the left shoulder. Invite yourself to stay right here and just breathe. Notice what you notice. Keep your mind anchored on the sensations of the breath and the body. And then maybe explore a little dynamic, organic movement. Finding what feels nice for you. Find one more inhale wherever you are. And then we'll exhale, letting the chin come to the chest and inhale the head back up to center. Let's roll those shoulders up and back and down a little bit more. And then we'll get into the hips just a little bit more and we'll be done. So let's go ahead and cross the right leg over the left. If that's not comfortable for you in your hips or your knees, just cross the ankles. We'll find that nice tall spine and we'll just interlace our fingers over that front knee. 
Notice if you're sitting crooked, if the sit bones don't feel quite level or balanced, and do what you can to even that out, finding a nice balanced centered seat. Let's inhale our arms up to our victorious pose, drawing those pinkies in towards one another and the shoulder blades down the back. Exhale to draw the left arm across the heart, hugging it in with your right hand. Breathing here, draw the base of the skull up towards the sky as you press your sit bones down into your seat. Feel uplifted and grounded at the same time. You might stay right here, enjoying the stretch across the back of the shoulders, or you might draw your left hand in and give yourself a little hug. One more inhale where you are. Let's exhale and place the left forearm on the top of the right knee and take another little twist over towards the right. Draw your right shoulder down and back. You might keep your gaze over towards the right or you might look back over that right shoulder. Let's inhale the right arm up towards the sky. Exhale to unwind and come all the way back to center. Crossing the left ankle over the right ankle or the left knee over the right knee. We'll interlace our fingers. Bring your opposite thumb on top. So if you're right-handed, your dominant thumb might be the right thumb. Just notice what your default is and then switch it. That helps to Keep our bodies guessing. Always ability, increasing our ability to do things just a little differently, to find new ways of doing things. And we'll find our tall, beautiful, strong spine. Let's inhale those arms up into victorious posture. Exhale, draw your right arm across your heart, hug it in with the left hand. Breathe into the space behind the heart. Hmm. One more inhale here. Exhale, gently place your right forearm on your left thigh. Bring your left arm around to your chair or your hip and twist gently to the left. Couple nice big breaths here. Finding length as you inhale and softness as you exhale. Hmm. Let's inhale that left arm up to the sky. Exhale, come back to center, unwind everything. Let's bring the spine to that long, tall spine and maybe Scooch out just towards the edge of the chair as long as you're nice and safe here. Inhale right here. Exhale just to bend forward at the hips and bring your elbows to rest on the tops of your thighs. You might be able to notice how the belly's constricted here, but if you keep uh, inviting that deep belly breath in, as you inhale, you can notice the expansion across the low back, maybe all the way down into the hips and the pelvis. If you want a little more sensation, you can take your left palm to the top of the left thigh and gently twist towards the left. And just notice how that changes things for you in your low back. Might be a good change, might not be. If it's not a good change, just come back to center and breathe. If it is a good change, you might want to press your right elbow into the left thigh and use it to give yourself a little more leverage to twist a little more deep. A little more deeply, a little deeper. One more big inhale here. Exhale back to center. Take a full breath right here to recalibrate and realign your spine. 
keep the chin tucked, and if you wanted to go a bit deeper, you could bring the left hand to the top of the left thigh. Whoops. But yeah, right hand to the top of the right thigh, and twist towards the right. Just noticing what you notice in the low back. Again, being willing to pull yourself out if it's painful. But if it's just a little uncomfortable, can you just kind of explore that edge and increase your capacity to be with discomfort? Maybe you want to leverage that left arm into the left thigh a bit and twist a little more deeply, but keep that chin tucked to protect your neck. One more inhale wherever you are. Exhale, come back to center. Take a full breath right here. And then we'll press into the tops of the thighs. Inhale all the way back up. Scoot yourself back so that you've got a nice, stable support to sit on. Let's inhale and raise those arms up to the sky. Bring your palms together and exhale, hands down to your heart. Let's do that two more times. Inhaling the arms out and up. Maybe look up as you open across the throat and the collarbones. Exhale, hands to center. One more time, let's inhale those arms up. Exhale, bring your hands right down towards your heart. It is my privilege and my honor to guide you in these yoga practices. If you have any special requests or any questions about anything, please feel free to write those in the comments. If you have found any benefit at all in this video or any other everyday yoga videos, please share it. I think we could all use a little more yoga every day. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste.